In this database tutorial I'm going to talk about queries. Now so far we've created a table and we've put some information into it but uh, now we're going to try and get some information out of it. That's essentially what a query is. It uh, gives you a view of your data in different ways. Now a query can be made up of a single table, multiple tables, multiple queries, queries mixed with tables, um, we can have all kinds of combinations just to get your information out. So if we can now go to the main database window and we qu click on the queries section there. Um, I'm going to go to new query and we've got various options here. Um, we're going to select the top one design view because we want to see how to construct a query. Okay. Now this brings up um, a list of our tables and queries. So far we've got no queries there. Um, what we have the the one table that we created earlier, TBL customers. So we're going to add that. And if you notice, it's added it in the background here. So once we've selected the tables we we require, we just close this window. <coughs> and what we have here is um, what's called the query design grid. Um, that's essentially where you um, specify what you want from your query. So our table here, I'm just going to extend it a little bit so that we can see the fields. Okay, <clears throat> now we can select individual ones just by clicking and dragging to the top column there. Company name, just take it to the top line and then let go of the mouse. Same with the dress and let go of the mouse. Okay, I'm going to just click clear that for now so that I can show you the other way of um, putting the um, field names into the grid. So we'll just uh, remove that. You can also double click the top of the table um, box there, that will highlight everything. And now just hold down the mouse anywhere on this blue bit and drag it to the first column and let go. And that puts all the fields in. That's another way of doing it. So we'll just remove that. The final way is to actually um, double click each field and that also drops it into the grid. There is one more way actually. Um, if you just double click here where this asterisk is, although it's only shown one column there, um, what it actually means is that you've selected every row or every field name from the table. So we'll just remove that. So, for now we're going to select every field name, so we double click the top, drag it into the first box here, let go, and there's our field names. So to run this query now, we just go up here where this exclamation mark is in red, click run, and there we see all our data from our customers table. We can extend these columns just by moving our mouse over the side here so we get the um, double arrow. Hold down, press down the mouse and just move it where we want and just let go of the mouse. Okay, so we can see we've got all the records there from the table. Um, just supposing we just wanted to show all company names that are in London. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, we go back to the design view, click this little green triangle here at the end. That's our design view for the query. Takes us back to our grid. <coughs> and we've got this section here. It says criteria. Essentially what that is, it means we can specify a parameter um, 
to filter our query by. So in this case, because we're looking for all customers in London, we want to go to this column here which says county, because this is where we put all our counties such as London. And on the criteria line here, we just type in London. Click away and Access will automatically put some speech marks around London. That's quite normal, don't worry about that. Um, we're not really worried about whether it's uppercase or lowercase first letter or anything like that. We just typed in London in any kind of case. Go back up to the top here to the Run exclamation mark button. Click it. And as you can see it's filtered out three records and all the company names are from London. If we go back to design view we might also want to sort this um, by company name so the way to do that is to look here where we can see the sort um, word and we move along company name because that's what we want to sort. Click here on this line sort and you get a little arrow down here. We want to click that and we want to sort it ascending top to bottom. We click that. So this query should give us again all the customers in London but sorted by company name. and then we can see it is sorted by company name and again they're all in London we can reverse that sort going back to our sort field here and selecting descending run the query and you can see now it's in reverse sort order and again customers are still from London So let's remove that for now, London. Run the query. And we're back with all our customers.